All right, here we are with another Mega Man Maker Let's Play of sorts. Um, we will be playing through Mega Man Powered Down, a uh, well, I guess you could call it a remake of a PSP game, a PlayStation Portable, I believe that stands for. Um, I never played this game on the PSP, so I'm going in blind here. <laughs> I have no idea what's to come. I don't know any of the stages. Um, all I know is that we have this Robot Master screen to choose from, as I'll bring up on the screen. It's looking pretty sweet. Um, I'll bring it up for myself as well here. Let's see. Yeah, we have Cutman, we have uh, Gutsman, Iceman, Oilman, Bombman, Timeman, Elecman, and Fireman. And yeah, I think I'll be starting off with Iceman. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get his ID here ready. But before we get into Iceman stage, I'll bring down the Robot Master Select screen. Um, we first have to go through the intro stage. So yeah, that's where we'll start. Um, <laughs> so yeah, basically, there are a few rules for this game. Um, first off, you get to decide which character you want to play with, um, either Proto Man or Mega Man. And after some debate, I decided to go with Mega Man. Um, if I really liked the game, and you know, thought it, you know, as long as it doesn't take too long time for me to beat it like if I really if I like it and if it's you know a nice experience and I don't like sp have to spend you know five hours <laughs> to complete the game then I might just go ahead and do you know a second playthrough you know if it if I can do it in a timely fashion there so yeah that could be interesting um basically as proto man you don't get to use any special weapons and you take double damage but you, you know you have the slide and you have the I believe you have the special proto cannon too so that you'll always shoot those big bullets but yeah, I decided to just go with the regular Mega Man here, and yeah. As you can also hear, we have some pretty sweet tunes here. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this game came with a music pack there, so yeah. That's pretty much, you know, like, half the fun with playing these games. Like, you know, getting to listen to the <laughs> custom music, it's, yeah, it's very sweet. So yeah, here we have the Mega Buster now, okay. Yeah. I don't expect this stage will be too difficult since, you know, it's just the intro. And I guess I should also go ahead and mention, um, I'll probably try and limit each video to two stages. Um, with a, an exception here for the first video, um, because, yeah, I'll include the <clears throat> intro stage in here as well, you know. So, yeah, the first video might be a little bit longer uh, than the upcoming videos. And I'm sorry about my... Very hoarse throat here. <clears throat> Ease, yeah. Uh, after the intro stage is done, I might <laughs> need to go and get myself a glass of water. <laughs> All right, but so far pretty, pretty darn easy. And here we have Freshman. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. If Proto Man has the you know super arm cannon, this would be. Rather easy with him, since he would just, you know, be putting out mad, mad DPS. And I don't think Crashman actually can get down from there. Ah, okay, yeah, so you're pretty much not supposed to fight him. He's just dancing up there. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, fair enough. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the game. Um, As I said there, um, I'll be playing through with... Mega Man, so yeah, I'll do a standard playthrough first, and we'll see how it goes, like, if it's a really cool experience and all of that, you know, I might go ahead and do a Proto Man playthrough as well. So yeah, um, here we are with the next stage, Iceman, um, Iceman stage. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this pans out, and yeah, now you can see we have all these weapons down there, but yeah, I'm not allowed to pick any or, you know, use any of those yet. Um, so basically, I'm just going to have to try and do this buster only here. And yeah, uh, needless to say, when we beat Iceman, we naturally will be able to use Ice Slasher there, so... Wait, where is it? Huh. Or maybe you get that in the other stage. I, I don't know how this works yet. Uh, I assume we'll get the Ice Slasher anyway in other stages, but yeah. Okay, this here is a very reminiscent start of, you know, Mega Man Mom, Mega Man Mom, uh, Mega Man 1, the original game there. 
Yeah, it looks very, very reminiscent. Uh, whoa! Oh my god, dude, that. Yeah. <laughs> I had some lightning fast reflex there. I gotta pat myself on the back for that dodge there. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the. <laughs> Freaking. Yeah. <laughs> Yoko Block just dicked me there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right. Oh shoot, I think you can actually make that jump, but yeah, I'll try and go for the Yoki block series instead because that will just be easier. Yeah. Hmm. I see, so if you're Proto Man you could have actually just slid through there, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, actually, <laughs> actually, I did actually go and you know check out the PSP Iceman stage, you know, just to see how it looked. And I remember this this room from the PSP version. Although in the playthrough that I saw, um, the footholder here were not this kind. It just tried to stay to the top for the player, and yeah, it was generally very <laughs> harsh to deal with there. Yeah, easy enough. Yeah, so far this doesn't look too hard, so yeah, I might, I should probably be able to do, you know, a second playthrough in a timely fashion, like, this game does seem pretty kind, you know. Nothing too hard here yet. Although, of course, you know, that could change very rapidly <laughs> in the wily stages there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. Once again, very reminiscent of the NES classic here. Uh, I did not see through the whole PSP version, so I don't really know all the layout, but yeah. This here I recognized from original Mega Man 1, you know, you jump down there and you have these backgrounds, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for the cycle to line up here. There we go. It's actually pretty funny, like, um, playing this game with my brother right now, like the original Mega Man 1, and like he's hard stuck on this section here in the original game. He's dying over and over and over again, and I'm just laughing my ass off. It's, yeah, it's a great time. <laughs> and look at all these goodies we're missing. <laughs> yeah. I really need to get some weapons quickly here, so that I can start collecting me some goodies. <laughs> hmm. And yeah, I'll assume we'll have the Iceman fight here, which indeed we do. And yeah, a pretty standard boss arena, so I shouldn't have any problems beating this guy here. You know, in the original Mega Man 1, he deals double damage than he deals, you know, here in Mega Man Maker, so he's been nerfed quite heavily in this version of the game. But yeah, I gotta be honest, I got a little bit nervous there when he was... Yeah, when this is close, it gets a little bit scary. I gotta be, gotta be honest. Yeah, oh, dang it. Okay, should still be fine. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my god, I almost had that dodge, dude. That would have been crazy. But yeah, like in the original game, I would only have been able to take one more hit there, and the floor would be, the floor, the floor would be slippery as well. Oh, Jesus, I had to cut that out. <laughs> As I was talking about the Iceman, I was on the edge of bursting out, <laughs> coughing there. Uh. But yeah, I'll make a quick break here. I need to go grab that glass of water, and when we come back, I'll bring up the Robot Master screen there again. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, there we go. I have had some water, and now we're ready for Fireman, I've decided on. Like... Obviously, we gotta go with Fireman now that we have the ice weapon there. And, you know, I might go ahead and actually start using, you know, the special weapons on bosses in this game. Like, I usually just do it, you know, buster only, but, you know, since it's a game and all, like... And, you know, especially if it's just, you know, standard boss rooms, um... I'm very confident I can kill all bosses, uh, you know, buster only, so... 
But, but we'll see. I might, I might still go ahead and just do everything Buster only. Uh, all, all bosses, I should say, Buster only. But yeah. In stages, at the very least, I would like to use the Ice Slasher here. You know, just so that we get to see the weapon in action a little bit. Uh, very cool. <laughs> yeah, I love the music. <laughs> so cute. Whoops, I accidentally fired the cutter there, my bad. And yeah, look at this, like, it was certainly a good... Whoa. I s it certainly paid off going here. Okay, let's freeze him. There we go. And there we go. Very nice. Okay, full energy refill here. Whoa. Oh, that's right, you can't. <laughs> can't freeze those. <laughs> the PSP music is so weird, like, they are so... How should we say... Uh, they are so calm in a way, like... <laughs> Yeah, I like it though, I like it. It's nice to hear some new music. Very fascinating. Ooh, hmm. Well, can't get that unless we cheat, but... Yeah, that would be... <laughs> very... Yeah. Very, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Ooh, and you know what? The red water here is probably there to simulate lava, basically. Yeah, like, you can definitely feel the similarity, you know, here again with the original game. Um, I might try and see if you can emulate the PSP version at some point. Uh, surely you can emulate it. It would be cool to play that game. Just so that I can say that I have done it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really like this room. Looks pretty cool. Wow. Very, dang it, <laughs> very generous checkpoint system here in this stage, incredibly generous. Uh, yeah, dang it, I shot way too early there, oh my god, I almost, almost croaked. Nice, nice, dude, yeah, having the ice slasher definitely helps out with these jumps here, that's... For damn sure. Yep. And I don't think we can get that energy up there. Unless... Yeah, no, you need the main it beam. Rush Coil was not in the... Actual PSP game there, I guess. Yeah, once again here too, like, the Ice Slasher is... Very helpful. And we should have a big guy here, right? I can sniff one out. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted to walk out there. Oh! And yeah, that should be the boss. I assume. Well, let's see here. Um, should I just do it Buster only? I mean... I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have proven many times before that I can do it. <laughs> but I, I just keep doing it over and over. And like, I'm not saying I don't ever fail at it. Like, right now I'm failing pretty bad. Um, although, you know, to be fair, we don't have the slide. So it definitely could be interesting, you know, to fight them like this. Like, the slide helps a lot with dodging so yeah you have to really start walking towards a lot earlier than they normally would have like here against fireman for example you know in order to dodge his jump attack there but yeah whoops even though i played it quite sloppily i never felt like it was about to spiral out of control or anything like that Do 
All right, pretty cool. So let's thumb that one up as well. It was a fun play. It was fun play. <laughs> so yeah, um, in the next episode there, we'll be continuing on with, let's see here, if we bring up the robot master screen again. Yeah, I should probably cross out them too for you guys so that you can see which ones are dead. Um, we will continue on with Bombman, I guess, since he's weak to Fireman in the original game there. Or maybe Oilman is weak to the fire. I never thought of that. Huh. <laughs> I actually never thought of that. What if Oilman is weak to fire and not Bombman? Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge, I guess, when we come to it. So yeah, um, <laughs> I will just leave it at that. Uh, it's really fun to start up another game here. I definitely want to do this more in the future, you know, play people's games. It's a lot of fun, you know, bringing over weapons and, you know, all that cool stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.